harder, but if I move it away. How do I not have any green pumpkin? This is a green pumpkin centipede from Zoom. For some reason, and I went through every bag of plastic in the house, every bag of plastic in my Jeep. And for some reason, green pumpkin Zoom was absent. So I went out and bought some. Cause I wanted to try out a new app. It's a color mixer app. Basically you take a photograph of the color that you want to unmix and it gives you the properties and paint ratios in order to do that. So I did that with this. We took a picture and then we put it into the app. Here's what came out. Just four colors you say? Yeah. Everything is made from something. Sorry, I, I just knocked you guys. I hit you guys. I, I'm not a violent person. I'm really sorry I did that. I didn't mean to do that. But this is Green Pumpkin. Because Zoom says it is. But on this app, it doesn't show up as Green Pumpkin because it doesn't register. It doesn't understand lure technology and pattern names. It understands colors. So in the world of colors and paints, this comes up as an American bronze or really close to it. So then I said, okay, just four colors, black, white, red, and yellow. Is that really going to work? And then I mixed it. And there's your green pumpkin. And there is your green pumpkin. And I think it was Krista that said sepia and moss green. And you're spot on. If you don't feel like trying to go through proportions and ratios, and even on top of the sepia, I might even add in There's your sepia. I would be inclined to add in some raw umber to that because when you look at raw umber by itself, it's a little darker. You could probably lighten it up with some white, but look at how close that is. So if you can just only buy one bottle of paint for a green pumpkin, and you want it to look like the Zoom Green Pumpkin? Raw Amba. Good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravasi here at Jekyll Baits, and it's time for yet another Weekender edition. I believe today's date is August 24th, but I'm not 100% certain. What I am certain of is that we've got an update to do. This is that reference photo, and this is how the bait turned out. I think it's a fairly decent representation. I know I said that I nailed the pattern earlier, but there are still a few things more that I could have done. I could have added a little bit of yellow to back here, which isn't wholly important, but it's important enough. What we did nail is the gill plating and this gold through here. The color selection, I think we did a pretty good job of. If you look at this versus this, and then the pink right there, match that. And you have that very silver well, it's a pearl white, but you have that very silvery overtone that really helps to mute this pattern out. Plus, it gives it the scaling effect. So, we bring this up into the light. And I did four of them. And they are all pretty much identical. And there's the fourth. The last part of his pattern is not entirely unsimilar but it's a bone he wanted a bone white 
and we put just a hint of powder blue on the belly of this bait and faded it up into that plum and black magenta. But that's just really more for a profile to give a better outline of this bait. But that is that. Um, the reason that I left this up here, I know you guys saw it throughout the spray session, but this particular wake shad is patterned off of the Strike King wake shad, which was discontinued. If you notice the pattern of a herring or shad and employs this type of a, a, an anal fin, and the pectorals are very similar as well. So this is a really good match the hatch floating wake bait to represent a shad or a herring or some sort of similar type species. Bluefish uh, would be another one, although they're a little bit more streamlined and they're super fast. So you probably would not see a floating blue unless it were injured. So that's the theory behind that and those are phenomenal blanks and when you want those you can get them at cedar run outdoors um he normally carries that it's an in stock item right now uh, because it's such a popular item and it's the middle of the summer you are going to see some outages occur um, and that's with any popular bait so that's where you get them when you want them and that is the story behind the wake shad used to be a strike king bait strike king discontinued it and there you have it the next thing you guys saw if you guys follow the facebook feed there was a discussion on brotherhood of custom crankbait painting a few days ago about um getting a green pumpkin pattern locked in and i introduced an app and i'm going to flash that app where right there um in the corner for you guys uh, the app is called Color Mixer. It deconstructs the color and gives you the ratios and percentages of what colors make up those colors. And it's a really handy tool to have. It's a must for, for trying to figure out patterns and locking down the right pattern. It's not always 100% accurate. Um, there was uh, one of the guys that John Pryor mentioned that, hey, you know, it, it gets you really close, but it does. It gets you extremely close. The only way you could get closer is if you mixed up the pattern for the original company yourself. But this is a really close green pumpkin that matches the Zoom green pumpkin. And I, I physically went out to the store and got green pumpkin. But what you see me holding in my hand here is what I ended up deciding to do with this green pumpkin. So I took the green pumpkin that I had and um, made a fire belly newt. Now, fire belly newts are not 100% indigenous to the United States, although I have seen them, um, and there's a ton of salamanders and newts that are similar. But a fire belly newt, newt is uh, indigenous to Japan, and there are several of them on the loose, at least in the eastern part of the United States, because I used to catch them when I was a kid. Um, so fire bellies are really cool. They make... Uh, great lizard patterns and i don't know about y'all but in my waters in the fall uh especially in the fall a, a green pumpkin with an orange like uh, the laminate worms yum has one that's actually called fall um it really is a fantastic match the hatch and this is going to do tremendously well in my waters those eyes that you're seeing those are jetson eyes and let me pull this in a little bit closer so you guys can see that just gorgeous eyes, but try and get as close to a match the hatch as possible. Here's a picture of what a fire belly newt actually looks like. So that's that. It's got the black spots on the belly and that bright. This is a scarlet. I used an FW scarlet to run along the bottom. And I got the, I got the belly pattern locked in here on a, I just used a piece of a card that I had from one of the our tools that I punched out and that's I just played around with stuff until I figured out what was going to look the best next it's a pattern you guys have seen me do at least similarly before this is just a red 
bright neon yellow fluorescent yellow belly with a red underlayer a little bit of black crackle on the top now this is I got a question last night in one of my messages and I forget if it was off the website or if it was off of YouTube you guys asked me questions might have been on Facebook I'm not sure anyways the, asking for a crackle pattern have I done a crackle pattern and I've done lots of patterns like this but if you guys are talking about using the FW paints the and the crackle medium they're the they're not FW the folk art paints and the crackle medium I have not done those maybe I should maybe I should go out and buy some and play around with it but that's just something that I haven't gotten into but this is just that metallic mesh that Doris mesh which you know I haven't even checked I've got a stockpile of it here at the house so I don't even know if they're they've been out for a long 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 time um, you might want to try fabric stores Hobby Lobby Michaels arts and crafts go to some of those places just to see if they have that mesh in stock or find another solution there's a couple of different meshes floating out around there and I know that somebody can come up with a really good substitution for that metallic metal mesh but this is just um, these eyes are from Amazon and you can find them uh, they're not the traditional eyes that you would see that are plastic mold these are glass eyes so I think they're called cabuchon there's there's a link in the description below for you guys for that one and then last but certainly not least I did a Branson special Branson is known for their purples and yellows um, this almost I almost called it circus clown because it's got all the patterns of like a do you remember Krusty the clown from living color or am I really showing like when I grew up as a kid watching living color it's a funny funny show regardless this is very similar to a clown pattern not just the yellow and, and orange but uh, like an actual you know the clown wigs that are like all rainbow colored that's what this reminds me of um, absent of blues but it's got some purple in there so but Branson Table Rock is famously known for purples and yellows being money patterns there these eyes came from I got a bunch of 3d eyes from Aliexpress and I guess I've ordered enough to where they just start sending me samples and these are really cool eyes I've seen stuff that's similar at lure parts online but that's what these look like let me show you the card that they came off of pretty cool these are five millimeters and fives are pretty good in the 1.5 that's what this is is a 1.5 but just a fun crawl pattern and that is what we've got for you guys this morning thanks for hanging out on the channel for a few minutes and spending some time with me I hope you have a fantastic day I hope that you guys are out fishing and not watching me right now but come home later and watch me so whenever it is that you see me um, smash that thumbs up button for me if I'm teaching you a little bit of something I sure do appreciate it I hope you have a great weekend catch a bunch of fish and I'll see you on the next one happy casting